Hello everyone. Do you want God to look at you in the moment of affliction? Find more today in the moment of meditation. Today's programs, we are going to watch another true story of an sister who faced situations. Yes, that indeed, this sister went through the fire in earthquake. But find out how she overcame by faith. We are here at the, the studios, join here with Pastor Roger. Good day, Pastor Roger. I do believe that this program today, it's gonna bring, you know, a, a light for what the Word of God can do when someone trusts. Because these testimonies that you have each and every day proves that when they assist or anyone who believes, trust in the Word of God, by any means, despair can be despair. Indeed, Pastor Walter, it's true. And this program is for you, assistant, made by assistants, because the testimonies are from assistants. And the same way these assistants who testified overcame, you are also going to overcome. That's right. So now is the moment for us to, to watch the true story. Sit, watch, and pay attention for every detail, because I'm sure that Jesus' sister, what he, he went through, the fire, the earthquake, it shall help you. We'll be right back. My name, I'm Tan Ninkosi. I'm 63 years old. I've been serving God for 16 years old. I have seen fire, storm, and earthquake. After four years serving God, my husband left us. When he left us, I didn't, I was not working. I felt so depressed, hopeless, because the children, they are still at school by then. Others, uh, the other one was still, I think she was two years old. She was supposed to go to crash. I didn't have money. I prayed very hard so that God must touch him where he is. I prayed to God to give me strength. Even though my husband left for 10 years, I, was, I continued praying for him, God to touch him where he is. And I never left, I never gave up on my faith. I continued to pray, I continued to serve God. I continued to do everything in God's power to touch him where he is until he came back. Yes, he did come back. He came back, he stayed with us only for nine months. Then he passed on but he, because he came back sick. When he passed on, it was like, I don't know now what to do, but I trusted in God. I trusted and I continued to serve God. I managed to see life in a different way, to depend, to rely on God, to be more stronger in God until God changed my situation. My, my little one, she passed, she's doing very well at school. She's getting good grades. He's, she's always in top 10. God is still with me. I never change. I never decide to do things my way. I went to school for the beauty. I started my business and my business now is doing very well. And my daughter at school, she's doing good also. I thank God for all that strength and the power. I was not gonna make it without him. I would like to advise all the assistants that they are go those, all those who are going through difficult, they must stay focused, just hold on on God. God has answered me, God will answer you. Don't give up, don't look back. Just focus on him, hold on on him. God is gonna give an answer. Now I'm free and I thank God for, because I never thought of anything. I used to just keep focused that I said, 
I'm going to serve you, God. Change my situation. Today's meditation, we are going to turn, it, turn your Bible in the book of Psalm 119, verse 153. And just uh, uh, something I would like to, to pass you on for you, very interesting. This is the longest chapter in the Bible. And that's, I, I, I do believe that's not a coincidence that it is the longest. I believe God, through this chapter, He wants us to pay attention very close to His Word, because this chapter exalts the Word of God, praises the Word of God. Let's see what the Holy Spirit says through David. It reads, Consider my affliction, it deliver me, for I do not forget your law. Do you remember in the beginning of the, the program today, I, I started saying to you, if God make a question, in fact, if God, he, how God can look at you in a moment of affliction? This is the answer. When will you don't forget the law of God? Pastor Roger, and my dear viewers, when a person doesn't forget the Word of God, what I mean forget is not just to have the, the Bible in the shelf at home and leave it there. Now, I have a Bible, no. When I, I, I talk about le, let, making the Word of God to be a first priority of the day, just for example, the first minutes, as soon as the person gets up, a person gets the Bible and says, I'm going to meditate before I start anything. This a person shows to God, look, your word for me is important than more than anything. I need this word to start my day. It's true. God is a father. And he is not a father who is far away from us but he wants to show us what he has in mind and what's the best way to understand God's mind is when we meditate on his word. So there must be a, a moment when you stop everything and you give attention to the voice of your father. So you know his voice, he knows your voice. And in times of affliction, he will be ready to help you, to assist you. Definitely, my dear friend, is what you are going to do right now. Prepare yourself for the moment of the prayer. If you have maybe a glass of water or you have maybe a document that you would like to present to God at the, in the beginning of the week, there is an affliction that you are going through. Don't despair. Trust the Lord is always willing to listen to your prayer. Let's talk to him right now. My God, in the name of Jesus, we pray with this assistant right now, knowing that you listen, that you are ready to answer and to remove this burden of his shoulders. How do we know that, my Lord? We know because your word teaches, your word guides us and reveals to us that your desire is to help, is to bless, is to set people free from any kind of affliction. So right now, at this moment, we ask you, my Lord, look upon your servants help them out of this situation so that they may also glorify your name as your word says. My Lord, is only through your word is a promise that you are going to look at of this person in a moment of affliction. I don't know, Lord, what has been the cause or the source of this affliction. 
Lord, I know that you are God. You are powerful. You are the Almighty God. And you are always willing to listen to the prayer, to the, to the cry out of the afflicted one. So, Lord, stretch out your hands from your kingdom, from your, from your throne, and reach out the sick that are, is at home. Or maybe he's ill in a hospital. Or this person is just desperate, my Lord, is looking for a job. They have now facing situations, you know, a pressure and this economic crisis that has been affecting the whole world. It's affecting this person, this family. Oh, my Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, we ask you to bless your people, wherever they are. He give them, my Lord, solution. Show them the way what they have to do. In the name of Jesus, let your peace to come and reign inside his heart. Bless their family. Bless the Lord their plans, their projects. In Jesus' name, we thank you. Amen. Well, my dear friends, you know that God is, is wonderful, Pastor Roger. He, is, he never going to allow us to just go without he, he given us a solution. I'm sure, I am sure that he has given the blessing for you, my friend. Just believe, let this, maybe today you, you have not having a, a very nice day, some situations have, make you to maybe put you down, but God put you up. So believe, trust. So. Is, is that's all for today, but we'll be back tomorrow with another program. So, God bless you. Bye for now.